We have a fantastic industry here to be a part of. And I want to invest in it so that in 20 years and 30 years, Washington tree fruit continues to stand out in the world as the best quality product, as the best place to grow tree fruit in the world. We have to stay ahead of our competitors to win. I like to say that you have to run faster and jump higher than the next guy. And so the tree fruit industry in the state of Washington to remain competitive just has to invest in research because research is what gives us our competitive edge. There's no one single starting place. We've been working very closely with WSU, always have been as a research commission, as an industry. It's a partnership that has existed over a very, very long period of time, going back to when my grandfather was in the business and started research on integrated mic control. That all came through because of WSU as well. So I don't know that there's anybody else, any other university, any other institution that we could go to to get this work done. We did a lot of listening and we asked a lot of questions and then the industry said, well, let's vote a, a special project assessment. And that passed for apples and pears, which over eight years will generate approximately $27 million into three endowment areas. One is endowed shares, which allow us to recruit or retain the absolute brightest and best faculty to serve the industry. The most important thing is going to be the people, the scientists, the educators that we're able to bring in over the next uh, five to seven years. Our hope is to attract the best and brightest people from around the world or steal them from around the world and bring them to the tree fruit industry of Washington State. The second component is technology transfer positions. They are essentially folks who would be responsible for extending and delivering the technologies that are coming out of our research programs. With research, if you don't translate it into practice, uh, it's interesting but uh, not very valuable to us. So we'll be generating more and better knowledge more quickly, and we'll have folks that understand what problems we should be attacking and get the solutions to the growers quicker. And the third component is for orchard operations it's in Prosser and Wenatchee to make sure that we can have the very best research going on at, at those facilities. I think it gives us a leg up, if not two legs up, over the next 20 years. I mean, we've raised the bar, and the first person to raise the bar, as long as they don't trip when they go over it, uh, usually, uh, usually gets a substantial benefit out of it. And that's, I think the industry's made a, just a outstanding decision to make this commitment. The growers in the state see value in funding WSU's research. If they didn't see value in it, they wouldn't do it. It's set up to really focus the effort uh, on the things that the industry thinks are most important to make it competitive for years and years to come. This is an investment in, in the future for, uh, for my kids. Well, this is a public-private partnership of significant magnitude. Uh, it's our industry saying to WSU, we trust you, we've got a legacy if we invest in you. We have great confidence in working forward. Anyway, tree fruit industry, WSU, hooked together for a long time to come.